we are going to discuss about the vector form of Newton's law of gravitation. See for that, we will consider two point masses m1, m2. These two point masses are separated by a distance r. So here the mass m1 exerts some force on mass m2. The force of mass m1 due to m2 is f bar 1 2 and the force exerted on this mass 2 due to 1 is f bar 2 1. And here to consider the direction, the direction from this point is uh, r, we represent with r uh, towards 2 from 1. And here for this, the direction is towards 1 from 2. So these are the directions and we know from vectors, vector r bar equal to, when we will call this as a full vector, the magnitude of the vector into the direction, a unit vector, then that will be a full vector or this can be represented as unit vector r cap equal to r bar by modulus of r is nothing but r. So this we will use later and we know that from the Newton's law of gravitation force of attraction between two masses is directly proportional to the product of the masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. So this can be written as g m1 m2 by distance separation is r square. And for uh, this one, if we are considering this, as we are saying that is a vector of uh, mass 1, the force of the force of attraction of mass 1 due to 2, f12 is equal to g m1 m2 by r square. And here, this is the magnitude and coming to the direction, the direction is R cap we have uh, suggested no so R cap and the direction is R cap 2 1 for mass m1 that is R cap 2 1 and see this can be written as g m1 m2 by R square and this R cap this can be written as R bar by R that means r bar 2 1 by r so by this we can write as g m1 m2 by r square into r that is r cube r 2 1 bar and in the same way for the for this force mass m2 f 2 1 bar is equal to g m1 m2 by r square and for this the direction is r cap 1 2 and now this can be written as g m1 m2 upon r square and this r 1 2 can be written as r bar 1 2 by r so this can be written as g m1 m2 upon r cube r 1 2 bar Okay, now see if we consider these two masses, these two masses are on some xy plane and this is the origin. Here uh, the mass m1 and here there is the mass m2 and from this origin the mass m1 sorry. From this origin, mass m1 is at a, in the direction of r1, the position vector, and from this origin, the m2 is r2. 
now we are saying that r21 that means this one r21 means it starts it will go towards r1 sorry it is going towards r2 from r1 so this is the direction that means this is the initial position this is the final position so the displacement between these two is final minus initial that means r2 minus r1 for this one for this one we are considering so del r equal to r2 minus r1 so let us substitute here so we'll get like this capital g m1 m2 by let it be like this r cube instead of r21 we can write it as r2 minus r1 part and as this is r cube we can replace this with the r2 minus r1 modulus cube in the same way for this one again you consider the x y coordinate origin and mass m1 m2 from o that is r1 from o to uh, m2 that is r2 now we are considering this towards r1 from r2 that means from here to here so this is the initial position this is the final position the displacement del r equal to r1 minus r2 so here we can write it as g m1 m2 by r cube and this can be written as r1 minus r2 bar and uh, this r cube can be replaced by r1 minus r2 modulus whole cube so this is the vector form for newton's law of gravitation see while considering the masses the force of mass 1 due to 2 is f12 the force of the force on mass 2 due to 1 is f21 and here the direction is uh, towards 2 no so towards 2 from 1 and this is towards 1 from 2 so like this we will place and uh, we can solve this and we can give the vector form for the newton's law of gravitation